Once you've got your quilt top layered with your batting and your backing fabric, and it's taped down so it's not going to move, you're ready to start thread basting. Thread basting would be the best if you were planning on hand quilting your quilt. So for thread basting, I use a very long needle, needle, it's called a darner, and uh, a pretty long piece of thread. Obviously, for this size, you wouldn't need much, but I usually work on much bigger quilts. So I would start in the center and take a really big stitch, you know, an inch and a half, something like that, and just pull the thread through. And you don't even have to knot it. You can just leave it and just continue working your way up to the top. Big stitches are fine because don't forget this is basting and it's all gonna come out in the end. All right, after we did this side. I would go and do 90 degree and just keep going. You're gonna wanna put stitches about every four to five inches, and that should really hold it for a very long time. I've had quilts basted for years, <laughs> so, because sometimes, you know, it takes a while to quilt a quilt. So when you're done, you can just leave the edges. After you finish basting the entire quilt, I usually fold my edges over and put in a few big stitches. It helps keep the edges of the quilt from fraying and it keeps them clean. And you just go around until the whole thing is done. And um, this way, if your hand quilting project takes a year or two, it's just Fine. It won't matter at all. It'll stay together just perfectly. After you get it done, you're ready to start hand quilting. Mm -hmm.